Everyone, Phil here with Carcraft Classics. Today showing off this super cool 1949 Chevrolet 3100 pickup. Let's take a closer look. You can see it's got that patina look, this old weathered paint. Super cool. And look under the hood. What do we have here? A nice modern LS motor. That's a 5.3. I was told it had in the high 90s. As far as miles, 98,000, I believe. Aluminum radiator, electric fan, power disc brakes, power steering, all the goodies of a of a modern motor. Truck is sitting on a modern frame as well. S10 chassis. Again, power steering, power disc brakes. You can see the new wiring harness there. This thing's got some style. Check it out. This little cowl up here has been pinstriped. Really super cool. As you can see, she sits low. Let me get that hood down. She's sitting low because it is bagged. Four corner air ride. The switch is inside, I'll show you in a moment. This is ride height. I'd say it's probably seven or eight inches off the ground. Cool set of Riddler wheels, 18s in the front and 20s in the rear. Rubber is good. Custom pinstriping all over this truck. Cool gooseneck mirrors from back in the day. Some of that pinstriping. Frame has been C notched, so that it will lay frame lay all the way down on the ground. I'll have still shots of it sitting super low on the website. I don't think I'm going to do it here. But you can see that the bed floor has been raised to accommodate that C-notch. New bumpers. And the gas tank has been relocated to the rear. As you can see, in true rat rod style. Using the, using the deck boards to hide the, uh, the gas filler neck. Let's see. All right. Dual exhaust out the back. It's got a set of headers. Not a tire burner, just a cruiser. Again, it's the 5.3 LS in there, and it's got a. It's hooked up to a 700R overdrive transmission and a 10 volt rear end. Not going to crawl around on the floor here to show you the undercarriage, but there again, there will be still shots of that on my website. It's got tubular A arms and what look to be fairly new shocks in the rear. Super cool. That split windshield is just screams 350, baby. It's just awesome. Shooting the video in the shade here. All the still shots were done in the sun. Just thought I'd give you a different perspective. You know, in the sun, inevitably, on one side of the vehicle, you're going to get shadow. So I figured we put it in the shade in front of all these cool steam engines in the background so that you could really get a good look at the truck without shadows. All right, let's take a look at the interior. Door panels again, custom pinstriping. Four boards are in good shape. Sometimes with these trucks, the rear wheel doesn't sit properly in the center of the, the wheel opening, but they use the right frame on this truck.
nice Impala steering wheel, new Dolphin gauges, nice leather, or no I think that's probably a vinyl seat, it does have seat belts, and it does have a headliner, wouldn't exactly call it a rat rod but I'll leave that up to you. Got a new nice brown matching carpet kit. Hopefully you can see that on the video. And a tall low car shifter. And there are those switches. Truck runs and drives good. I mean it goes down the road like a like an old cool pickup, don't get me wrong, but uh, you know those the overdrive transmission and the LS motor, nice touch. Fire it up. go that's the 49 bagged and ready to party like I said there'll be still shots on the website showing the truck all the way down on the ground and uh, the website is carcraftclassics.com Asking price for the vehicle is uh, twenty-seven five. You can email me at carcraftclassics at gmail.com or just give me a call at 770-317-1415. Again, my name is Phil. I really appreciate you watching. Carcraftclassics.com. God bless America.